okay so next reading is properties of stock options so this is kind of a a core reading before we go on to the valuation and risk model subject where we will have to learn black and scholes we will have to learn binomial model so if you understand the concepts presented in this reading well it would be easier to understand and comprehend black and scholes and other advanced versions of model so the learning outcomes in the reading first we would have a look at which are those six variables which will have an impact on the option pricing then upper and lower bounds this is going to take us some time because it requires us to do that for dividend paying non dividend paying as well as dividend paying stocks then put call parity on european and some extension of put call parity for american options and then whether it makes sense to exercise american options earlier than the european options so we look at some of that discussion so let's get started give heading six factors affecting option prices six factors affecting option prices six factors affecting option prices it is really really important that you understand the intuition behind each of those variables because in valuation and risk model there is a reading called option greeks and the whole of option greeks is dependent on whole of option greeks is dependent on these six variables so my strategy is going to be first we will build a table and we would summarize all of them and then we will start discussing one by one so the table will have three columns so first is the let me write the first column as increase in or higher second column is call option third column heading is put option first variable is strike price second variable is spot price third variable is volatility fourth variable is time to expiry fifth variable is risk free rate of return and sixth variable is dividends so when the strike price is higher that's why the column heading as such when the strike price is higher what would be the impact on call option premiums and what would be the impact on put option premiums so this is extremely easier think of it this way if there are two call options one with strike price of 100 one with strike price of 200 which one will you prefer <clears throat> you will prefer the one with strike price of 100 because you have a right to buy so you would want to have right to buy at a cheaper price correct so if the strike price is higher valuation of the option is going to be lower so lower the strike price better it is for call option let's look at put option strike price is 100 strike price is 200 which one will you prefer 200 because this time it is right to sell so higher the strike price higher would be the premium of put option so when you buy a put option you would want to purchase the one with higher strike price when you buy a call option you would want to have one with the lower strike price then when the spot price increases this is the easiest one we know that call option price will increase and put option price will put option price will increase or decrease put option price will decrease okay so call option you are inherently bullish yes narendra do you want put <laughs> do you want uh, spot price to increase or decrease for put option put option put option put option raja you want underlying price underlying assets price to decrease for a put option are you sure yeah he is right hmm? <laughs> so when you have a put option you would want underlying asset price to 
decrease when volatility is higher value of call is higher value of put is higher when time to expiry is more value of call is higher value of put is higher when rfr is more value of call is higher value of put is lower okay why it is like this we will worry about that later on just keep it on hold okay so i am going to separately explain each one of these four but when volatility is higher call option higher put option higher time to expiry higher higher rfr higher lower and dividends when dividends are increased value of call option would be lower value of put option would be higher okay now are you comfortable with the first two strike and spot so now we would directly start discussion on the volatility so it took me a lot of time to figure this out but it's and once i figured out then i wondered why because apparently it is so easy why it took me so much of time to figure this out but see it works this way so i'm explaining you in a simplified fashion why volatility is good for options okay so we are going to consider two scenarios let us say strike price is 100 and strike price is 100 spot price is also 100 spot price is also 100 expiry is 1 year expiry is 1 year so the both the options are precisely same now the only difference is both of them are call options so this is a call option this is a call option the only difference is that annualized volatility this is a sigma sign for this particular option is 20% whereas annualized volatility let's say for this particular option is 80% that means it is a substantially more volatile stock now see what happens in one year in one year's time since volatility is of 20% the stock price might be 120 or it could be up to 80 correct for this particular stock in one year it could be either 180 or it could be either 20 now imagine when it is at the lower node when it is 80 we will have a loss but what is the loss whatever premium we paid we are going to lose that what would be loss here premium which means it doesn't matter how much it falls down once it is below the strike price no matter whether it is 100 or 90 or 80 or 70 or 60 your loss is maximum premium it will never be more than that but let's look at the upside when it is 120 what is your payoff payoff is 20 but when it is 180 what is the payoff here payoff would be 80 right which means the maximum the maximum upside on the stock the maximum profit we have so we kind of have a asymmetry here so when we have a stocks which have extremely high volatility the price might go down or price might go up by significant magnitude but we don't worry about the magnitude by which the prices will go down no matter how much it goes down it doesn't hurt us but if it goes up it gives us higher profit and therefore higher the volatility better the premium for the options is that clear and therefore trader will also know that there is a higher chance of making profit on this particular option and therefore the premium of this option would be higher than the premium of other option any questions you want to ask here should we go ahead then now let us discuss uh, let us discuss about time to expiry time to expiry so again we will build two scenarios strike price 100 spot price 100 strike price 100 spot price 100 now this time let us keep the volatility constant let's say volatility is volatility is entire 100% and volatility is 100% for both of these are annualized volatility but let us say expiry of the first option is in 3 months whereas expiry of this option is 12 months 
ignoring the mathematics of conversion of standard deviation roughly it doesn't work that way but just for understanding purpose if annualized is 100 then quarterly should be 25 the correct calculation is it should be 100 divided by root 4 but i'm going to ignore that for just for understanding purpose so quarterly i'm going to assume as 25% so therefore your price could either be 125 or your price could be 75 but here the price since the expiry is entire one year it could be either 200 or it could either be zero and again when it is 75 your loss is premium when it is zero your loss is premium it doesn't matter how much it falls but when it is 125 your payoff is 25 whereas here your payoff would be 100 and therefore we will say longer the maturity higher the possibility of making more profit therefore more time to expire more valuable is the option the same logic applies to put options on both the side for volatility as well as time to expire in in this particular case option premium here would be substantially higher than the option premium here because of so what happens to the put is precisely same higher volatility means either it might go substantially higher or it might go substantially lower we don't worry about how much high it goes but we are concerned about how much low it goes so larger volatility larger possibility of profit on the downside the only scenario where so if you want me to do exceptions here itself okay only just to help you think imagine when you are deep in the money when you are deep in the money european put option deep in the money european put option now let us say strike price is 1000 and let us say spot price is just 5 in fact let me exaggerate a little bit and let's say spot price is just 0.5 okay which means if price falls uh, even below the maximum profit that you can add is that that spot price can become zero so now imagine you own this option originally volatility was just 2% the prices were not moving if suddenly volatility be becomes 20% as a option owner you should be a little worried about this because what this tells you is that when the volatility is higher anyways the stock price cannot go below zero which means a higher volatility means stock price would be pushed upwards and if the stock price goes upward then you would start losing amount of your premium is that clear so this is an exception where generally lower volatility is better lower volat volatility would result into higher premium it could be but not necessary that depends on the expiry sorry why for european because it's if it's american you can just exercise and book your profits but if it's european you don't even have the chance of exercising you have to wait till the expiry and why not call because call the maximum profit is unlimited so even if you are deep in the money volatility increases the price might still go up is it clear is just that uh, see if you can think through this though this is not testable when the option is deep in the money european call the asymmetry is gone and now the option becomes symmetrical because when the volatility increases it might go up or it might go down and then it will hurt you if it goes down it will benefit you if it goes up so we lose that benefit of our symmetry when the option is deep in the money did you follow what i was saying see option is let's say like just add the money strike price 100 spot price 100 if it goes down we don't care whether it goes down this much or this much or this much because anyways we are losing premium if it goes up then we have profit that means we have a asymmetry here 
right? It just helps us on one front. But imagine if the scenario is like this, that spot price is 100, strike price is 100 and spot price is 1000. Now you're deep in the money. So if it goes up, of course we have profit. But if it goes down, then we have losses till the time it does not go below 100. Then your losses, then you become indifferent to losses. But till the time it is from 1000, if it becomes 900 or 800, then 700, you're continuously making losses. So that asymmetry of the option is lost. No, not, not yet. No, these are actual losses because your premium has those losses. Your value of your premium will start falling dramatically. Here, your premium would be 900 plus some time value. So when this 1000 becomes 800, premium will become 800 plus time value. The value of the premium will start falling dramatically. <coughs>